Hi, if you're new here, my name is Abhi and today I'll be giving you a tour of my minimal desk setup for software development and productivity. As a software engineer and content creator, I spend most of my time at the desk writing code, filming or editing YouTube videos. So it's imperative for me to have a clean and distraction-free workspace in order to maximize my productivity. The actual desk that I use is the basic Linmon table from IKEA. It looks clean, does the job perfectly and gives me plenty of space to work with. I will leave the link to the table and the rest of the items in the description below in case you need to check that out. The main machine powering the whole setup is a 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro with the i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. It's a very capable machine and can easily handle all my workloads including 4K video editing on Final Cut Pro. I have connected it to a 24-inch LG IPS panel with the matte finish display and an anti-glare coating. I've been using this monitor for almost a year now and I have found that it has amazing color accuracy which is pretty much the same as my Retina MacBook Pro. Moving on, my keyboard of choice is the Apple Magic Keyboard 2 which is a beautiful and clean scissor switch mechanism keyboard that I love typing on. It charges via the Apple Lightning port and the battery lasts pretty much forever. Although the main reason I like this keyboard is that it's the exact same keyboard on the MacBook Pro. This means that my fingers are used to typing on this and it also improves the typing experience and speed. Similarly for the mouse, I use the Apple Magic Mouse 2. It goes well with the white aesthetic and I really like using the gestures on the mouse. In fact, I really like using the gestures in macOS and I might as well get the Magic Trackpad because using of gestures is very integral to my daily workflow. I'm very proud about my cute little plants because unlike most videos like this one, they are real. But anyway, the chair that I use is from a brand called Apex Chairs, it's called the Apollo Chair and I ordered it from Amazon. I think you can easily find it, I will definitely leave the link in the description below, so do check that out. I found this really big keyboard or mouse pad with the world map printed on it. It is really soft to touch and it also helps me learn about the new countries as it's my dream to travel the world. For my audio needs, I use the Beats Solo 3 wireless headset. I think it's really good for listening to songs and watching videos and stuff like that. I also have the AirPods, the second generation AirPods which I use for meetings and stuff like that. I use this wireless charging phone stand which is from a company called Spacey. It can charge the iPhone, the AirPods and also the Apple Watch at the same time and it is powered by Type-C. Although my Apple Watch Series 6 is still in the showroom. For my ever-growing storage needs, I use the Samsung T5 Portable SSD. It has a really sleek form factor and is powered by Type-C. Last but certainly not the least, I use the Apple Type-C docking station which connects the USB Type-C port on the MacBook to the three other ports on the other hand including an HDMI port, a USB Type-A port and another USB Type-C port. What's up you guys, I hope you are well and I hope you like this video. It was a really fun one to make. So that's my desk setup that I've been using for the past year now. And I know I'm a little late to make this video but better late than never and I am planning to upgrade some parts of the desk setup so I'm looking for suggestions so you guys let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think that I should improve on? What do you think I can add? What do you think I can remove? And yeah, just let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I don't know, if we hit 50,000 subscribers, maybe I can give away the monitor and we'll see how that goes. But definitely leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below as well. Or you can just DM me on Instagram. You can find my Instagram up on the screen. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching.